Hey guys, my name is Simpsy. How are you all doing? Welcome back to some more Crusader Kings 3 here today on the channel. I'm excited to showcase for you Lord of the Rings Realms in Exile, a new mod on Crusader Kings 3. We're going to be playing as Rohan here today. We've got Theoden and his son Theodred in the background. We're going to be playing as Rohan here today on a short campaign and then we'll check out Isengard as well. So, if you like the sound of that, feel free to leave the video a like. Subscribe if you're new here with notifications on. Let me know in the comments feedback and suggestions for the series and where you'd like me to sort of expand and conquer. Feel free to leave a dislike if you don't like CK3 of course. Also guys, please do take into consideration that this mod is still in very early days of development. We've only got King Theoden here himself, Saruman the White, and we've also got some Dunlings to the north as well. As of the 4th of December, there has been a new update with the custom rulers here, so Saruman the White actually looks... that's quite spot on, I like it. I like it a lot. So we're going to be playing as King Theoden here today, 51 years of age, the King of the Riddermark. Fey he seems, the battle fury of his fathers runs like new fire in his veins. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, Theoden, King of the Riddermark, is the only son of the late King Thengel. Uh, so here we have the War of the Ring. The board is set and the pieces are moving, but the enemy has the has the move and he is about to open his full game Gandalf the Grey okay so without further ado let's start okay guys welcome welcome to the campaign map I would like to do more CK3 on the channel especially when there's these fantastic mods coming out so we're gonna be doing a bit of a showcase here today but let me know other CK3 or mod spots spotlights you would like me to do so here is Middle Earth so they have put in some settlements so far, so we've got the Haradrim here, which will be eventually coming in. We've got the lands of Mordor as well. There's Mount Doom, and no tower yet. They have put in the city of Minas Tirith, the white city there. It looks really quite cool. Uh, pushing further over here, we do have uh, Edoras, we have the Hornburg, Helm's Deep. And then Isengard itself further back. So we've only got this piece of territory that we can even attempt to try and conquer. And we'll try and do that here today. So we've got a couple of small holds here. Some chieftains and stuff. Then we've got Isengard itself. So let's start things off. Let's have a look at King Theoden himself. So he's brave, compassionate, egregious, or gregarious rather, a brilliant strategist. Horsemaster. Okay, I really like the look of this. So this is some of the unique traits. Martial 5, Prowess 5, and this uh, trait is congenital as well. How fantastic is that? Cavalry Leader as well. Gives a Men-at-Arms Maintenance minus 10. We've also got Strategist as well. King Theoden is a whopping 31 command. I like the look of that. And he has just under 3,000 men under his disposal. Uh, the titles for Rohan, I can't wait until they add custom models in as well, but very early on I'm super excited for this Lord of the Rings mod, same with like Game of Thrones and, and Dragon Age and stuff when they eventually, Skyrim, <laughs> an Elder Scrolls mod would be absolutely awesome. So let's have a look at our titles. So we have the Kingdom of the Riddermark, yes, the Lordship of the Fold, uh, Mark of the King's Stead. And the Mark of Foldburn as well. So let's have a look at the House of Erling... Er, er, is it A or E? It's Erlingas. I think it's Erlingas or Aerlingas. A or E. Erlingas. I think it's A. Anyway, let's have a look at the family tree. So we have King Theoden and his son, Theodred. Hopefully we don't get him knocked off in this series. Hopefully we can marry him off and have a long dynasty. Because the line of Rohan actually... Yeah, it actually died out, didn't it? I guess, because these two die in the Lord of the Rings, it actually passes to Eomir, I would imagine. Um, anyway, my sister is Theodwin, and Eomir and Arwen is four and eight, respectively. But the family tree here goes all the way back, which is awesome, to... Who is it? King Brego. Okay, and my father before him was Thengel, and Thengel and Fengel. But all these lines have probably died out, I would imagine. Yeah, okay, so there's no other trees there. Right, so we definitely need to get myself married off as quickly as possible. Look, you know what? 
Once we go through our lifestyle, that's probably something we can do. So, we've got a couple of options here. I think going into Marshall, maxing this out is probably the play. So, we've already gone down Strategist quite a bit and a bit in Gallant as well. So, we can go with a Strategic Focus, which gives us Marshall experience. We could go with Authority Focus, which is Marshall, Dread, and Control. The growth is not too bad. And Prowess, Attractive Opinion. I think I'll go with an Authority Focus this time around. Okay, so we can marry off our heirs and our king as well. Now, some of the units in this mod have... Some of the characters, rather, in this mod do have unique armor and stuff. As Prince Theodred here actually has a Rohirrim sword. We've got Grima. Look how ghouly and white and pasty he looks. Hopefully he doesn't stab us in the back. We might need to get rid of Grima. You can never trust him. <laughs> so let's try and marry off Theoden now. So we'll try and find a new spouse for him. So we can sort by alliance power, just for my curiosity. Uh, where is Theoden here? Hmm... Maybe some of skills. So there's probably not too many we can marry to the king too. Some of skills. Horse, master. 22, 24. I think we'll just go for her. She is content, vengeful, and diligent. So we'll marry the king to her. There's no one else that we can like find a spouse. Yeah, we might be better off to find a spouse than arrange a marriage. Within my court. Yeah, so let's find a spouse instead, because this might be better. Yeah, this is what I'm looking for. So we can go with some of skills with her. She's lustful and brave. Or we can go with an alliance power, or we can sort of meet halfway. So we might actually go for Elfled. Potential alliance with Fenmark. She's 18, brave, vengeful, and humble. Theoden's 51. He's still got... Uh, 10, 15 years probably of childbearing if we get an RNG. So hopefully, yeah, because this time around we only lose 100 there. So we'll do that. We'll try and get an alliance with the third marshal of Roda of Fenmark. We'll send that off. Now let's have a look at my uh, son, Theodred, as well. So summer skills. And we'll just try and make our way to find an alliance. Power one. Okay. Gl... Gladwin. And we can get a potential alliance with the Mark of Grim Slade. She's sadistic, honest. Mm, she's 17. I think we'll marry how old's he? 21. An aspiring bladesmith, and he's got a lot of titles himself. So we'll marry that off as well. And that will bring 400 to the men of the West and the Westfolds. Good. We'll send that off as well. Alright, we've got some current situations which we need to do. We could probably just straight up fabricate <laughs> on Lord Saruman the White. Unfortunately, there's no Yurik guy, uh, which is a shame. So he's currently Free Peoples and a Starry class. So who's his primary heir? Just a random Isengard Dunling. Oh, fair enough. We've got some neighbours that can be vassalized. We have the petty king of Ismond of the West March. So where's that? Is that over here? Sure, we'll send them an offer ship of vassalage and we've got the lady here of Norwald. Uh, so where's Norwald? It's a little bit to the north. So offer vassalage there as well. Uh, council positions will re-eventually do. Oh yeah, look at this. Look how fantastic this guy looks. Mayor Cleden of Upborn. You've got a fantastic helm. If I do say so myself. Okay, we've got some wars we can declare as well. Uh, Thedra can get married and we can negotiate an alliance. Uh, let's do that as well. Alright, sweet. So, I think what we want to try and focus on, like if we were to go to war straight with Isengard, we can't war deck them because we don't have a Cassus, Cal, uh, Cassus Belly, but we could actually fabricate a claim there eventually. We've got about 2.7. We might be able to get a little bit more under our... Disposal. So I think what we'll do is we'll try and push uh, sort of northwest here today, try and take out this territory. Then we'll go east. Where we could maybe fight with the Dunlings and we'll try and deal with Isengard. But it's going to be a, a little bit of a taste and a bit of a tease of the Lord of the Rings mod here today. Okay, well, let's go through this tab here. So our realm, we're currently sitting on two crown authority. We might actually put that up. Eventually, when we speed things ahead. Okay, military-wise as well, we have 2.7 in the bank. Uh, so, 2.7k levies, 7 knights. Let's have a look at the men-at-arms, what we've got access to. Oh, sweet. So, we've actually got access to West 
Folders, our swordsmen. Helmling. Helm Ingas warriors. Mountain riders. Horse archers as well. Check out these armored horsemen. Look how fantastic these Rohirrim forces are. Can't wait to use them. So let's look at the council. We'll be eventually allowed to get a, a spouse in. So court wise. So you're currently 10. Is there someone who's better? She's 13. So it's probably not a good idea just yet to fire her and bring her in. Uh, would probably cause too many problems. Okay, sweet. Let's push down to the marshal here. Ooh, only two diplomacy. We might have to get rid of you, unfortunately. We do have the third marshal, Widmond, uh, who's 22, 22 diplomacy. However, he is 72. Because uh, he might not be there for too long. Sure, we'll assign him and bring him into the fold. Uh, foreign Affairs is probably the play. And maybe you can fabricate a claim on Isengard. I think probably attacking them earlier the better. You never know. We might get the RNG and get lucky. But we don't want Sauron Man to get a hook into us. That's the last thing we want. Okay, looking at the marshal here. Eight. What's our best marshal we have at our disposal? Uh, Fengal is only 12 there. He's a knight, so no. So my current marshal is my firstborn son and heir. Theodred, who's 22. Do we have any better marshals? A couple, but I think we'll keep my son in command of the military forces. We can maybe bring these knights in if we need them. And then, of course, we've got Grima Wormtongue. Um... Which I would like to get rid of, but <laughs> you kind of what do you what do you do with Grima? Do you let him sort of slip away and slither away, or do you sort of try and keep him in check? I think collecting taxes is probably the best play. Organizing the levies there as well, as we have a fair few decent commanders, and we can probably disrupt uh, schemes where we can. Okay, so that's the court now done. Looking at our intrigue, not much we can do here. Factions wise as well, no one's mounting uh, an affront against me. We've got some major decisions here. Uh, found a holy order, dynastic crowns. So we've got some decisions. We can invite some knights. For now, we've got seven. I think that's fine. We can invite claimants as well. We've got the divine stars. Look to the heavens and see what the future has in store for you. Sure, we'll do that. Our destinies are written in the stars themselves. By studying them, I may gain some insight into what the future holds. You will discover a cosmic insight to the near future. Notify me when this becomes available, please. L look, Theoden is going to look into the night sky. Are there horses in the sky? Um, isn't like certain constellations made out of horses? I don't know. I'm trying to make a correlation with this probably isn't one. We can go for a hunt. We don't need a physician just yet. And factions and decision-wise as well. All right. Sweet. Everything is coming up. Theoden. Okay. Well, let's unpause for the first time and allow some of the events to trickle in. Okay. So, the marriage proposal between Theodred, uh, my son is done and they have accepted the vassalization my son's now happy the second vassalization has come in and yes so it's his granddaughter who I've now married and we have a look into the divining stars I have spent many nights looking up at the night sky tracking the movements of the celestial bodies over time, I noticed a pattern, and after days of analy analysis, analyzing, wouldn't it be analyzing? Or analysis, I guess. I am now confident in my prediction. The signs are clear. It is time for a new beginning in open minds. I like the sound of that, Theoden. I wonder what else uh, the future holds. So, open mind for 10 years. So, what does that specifically give us? Minus two stewardship, Ugh, okay, plus two learning and lifestyle experience, 25%. Good, so it was definitely worth to do it. Ah, my marriage with the Queen. Here we go, the realm expects us to throw a wedding celebration. But who gets to pay for it? Of course, <laughs> I'll collect it. Uh, who pays for their own wedding? Uh, or you gain 350 prestige. We've already got 650, and we're gonna be able to use it on a lot of wars, and we're probably gonna use piety on holy wars anyway. So, I think we'll take the 75, because I do want to start getting into some wars as quickly as possible. Ah, Theoden, he doesn't need to pay for his own wedding. I want the dowry. Come and give me some. Okay, no events are coming up here, so let's, um, probably start our first war. There seems to be a couple of quick conflicts going on already. Okay, so I think we'll push 
uh, sort of northeast first. So the chiefdom of four Fort Tulf. And these guys are the house of Breg Dunnings, okay. All people of darkness, eh? And they're a part of a different culture group to my own. So we can religious war them. Should, surely, yeah, we can. So before we do that, we'll grab the Rohan military forces. And we'll put them to the border here. So I'll go... Uh, right click, that's what we need to do. Chuck you guys here. So now we've got 3.6k. We should be able to overly surround and destroy their military forces. Only 400 there. So, let's go with a holy war on the county. Let's declare it. And let's call up the riders of Rohan. Let's go, guys. And Theoden is really much going to be able to carry this. So we'll split the army to try and swing around there and intercept. While the main goes forward. So, who's commanding what? Theoden, 39 command, is heading for the 400 strong military force. I actually want to give this command to my son. Yeah, 22. We'll give Theodred the command of the siege. Now, as much as I'd like to see these reskin, they're not. But still, please take into consideration, it is very early days. I would nearly say this is a beta version of the mod. But it's a bit of a taste and a bit of a tease of what we've um, got to stay tuned for and look forward to. I, I just, I love... The amount of work modders put into this stuff, and I'm really appreciated because they work for basically little to no pay most of the time, and they really put their heart and soul into it. So, I'm really enjoying your mod, whoever you are, who made this so far. So, we've got a quick little engagement here, and my wife is pregnant as, as well. How fantastic is that? High five! <laughs> so, we've got the Battle of Rantburg. Theoden has deployed 2,000 against their three. And fierce fighting is now broken out, and we don't even need to take the castle by the look of it, <laughs> as we've managed to capture the enemy lord in one go. We can enforce the demand straight away. Perfect. So, unfortunately, Prince Theodred uh, couldn't, <laughs> couldn't take the city, but it's okay. So, what's this one as well? Another lot of people of darkness as well. I would like to take the eastern wall, but victory... We only lost 104. We knocked out the 400 of those. And fame and devotion have now gone up as well. Fantastic. So, it's going to take a little bit, but that's what we're going to be focusing on this campaign, these smaller regions in and around us. Our neighbors can be vassalized as well. We'll send that off. Same with you as well. Our powerful ballot. Uh, they expect a council position. Okay. And we've got other wars that we can declare as well. So we'll wait for those vassalization to come through. Because the stronger we can be, the better we'll be able to destroy Isengard. Speaking of Isengard, where's that claim coming along? 13 months, and we still can't war deck. Saruman the White just yet. Look at him in his dapper clothes. I like it, I like it a lot. Now, I don't know if this is the same team that did the uh, Imperator Rome mod. It looks quite similar, but maybe it's the same team. I'll put in the description below the mod if you guys would like to download it and play along with me. You should find it quite easy. If you just type in Lord of the Rings mod for CK3, you can find it on Steam. Okay, so uh, what are these guys up here? So these are more people of darkness that we want to try and ride and run down. And we've expanded our military forces slightly. Okay, so I want to actually move our rally point, if we can, further north would be ideal. And we'll go against the Chieftain of the Eastern Wall. We'll declare a, another Holy War against them. They are still vastly inferior, but it's a 520 slightly higher force. So we'll declare war against you then. War has broken out. We'll rally the forces. And we want to try and quickly push over where we can. We'll split, send one across, send one down. So Theoden once again is engaging. Uh, and we've managed to get another... <laughs> We're doing so well. We're getting like the RNG of capturing <laughs> the uh, the leaders there. Oh, that's so awesome. <laughs> we, don't, we haven't even needed to take settlements. Which is saving us... A lot of uh, 
casualties in the short term. Alright, sweet. We should be able to wrap this up here. So we're going to try and play for an hour or so here today. And we'll try and take all this and just sort of see how we go. But how big are the Dunlinks? 2k, Solomon's 3.7. I think this was bugged at one point. Wasn't this like in an earlier version, like up to 18k or something? It was quite crazy. We're now to 4k, so we're quite even. But Isengard is still not uh, expanding overly too much. But we're going to continue on our northern initiative where we can. And titles can now be created. The Duchy of East Rohan and the Duchy of the Wold. Now, we can't do any of that just yet because we don't have the cash money. But I'm really happy to be back on Crusader Kings 3. It's been a while since my Jerusalem and England campaigns. I wouldn't mind doing more, particularly on mods, because just the replayability. Like, my favorite mod for CK... My, like, I actually preferred the Game of Thrones mods for CK2 far more than the vanilla base game. But rest assured, once... Full conversion CK3 mods are done. I'm definitely going to be let's playing them on the channel. Okay, so we don't need to move that further up. So let's have a look at what we're working with. So, um, so this is the chieftain, isn't it? So these are his underlings. Maybe are these independents? No, they don't seem to be. So there's the chieftain. They're all independent chieftains. They just look a similar tile, because, like, a similar color. I just thought they might be of uh, the same people. No, they're still all of people of darkness, while we are of the free peoples. Oh, I haven't looked at this, actually. So here's our house. I looked at that. It was, yeah, the free people's faith. You're most looking to pause and have a look about that. Our various holy sites as well. That's cool. Rohirrim. Um, we're probably excelling cavalries. The, c the head of our cultural group. So we got this sphere coming through. Early medieval. Yeah. It makes sense. Okay, let's go thro through now the chieftain of Nan, Nan Lothduin. Okay. And they've only got 160, so we'll probably holy war this one as well. This is only costing us 50. So we'll raise the banners again. And, yeah, no one else just seems to be getting called in, which is perfect. But so far, this is not meant to be too overly challenging. The major challenge we're going to face in this particular campaign is Saruman the White. Oh, and as you see here, we've got a couple of really interesting effects and a, child be be a child's been born. So, we have a hook on us. A loyalty one. Oh, okay, that's annoying. But here we go, with a tired yet blissful smile, um, Elfled presents me with a perfect little son. Who will you become, my child, and what shall I call you? Uh, Edwig. And after an ancestor, after a family member. Oh, well, let's have a look. So my father was called Thangle. I think we'll name him after my father. I think that's probably a little bit better, so... Um... Uh, Thangle was there. Oh, it's there again. Hang on. Oh. Just saves me typing it out. Yeah, there we go. Thangle. <laughs> we got it. Uh, yeah. Thangle is my father. And then I guess... Hang on. So... Uh, what was my mother called? My mother was called... Morwen. Okay. But... Thangle... And Theodred... And Theoden. But let's have a look at you. Prince Thangle. Oh, hang on, we're speeding ahead. Prince Thangle of the Riddermark. Uh, pretty early days, though, but he's got decent prowess. But it's great to see that the royal line of the Rohirrim is going on. The royal land line of Theoden. Okay, so I, I may be distracted. Where'd that army go? No, they're going to make us take this, I guess. Okay. It's because I... <laughs> didn't unpause when I was reading stuff. Uh, right. So... We have the claim. So we'll, we'll take the 90. So we could go bankrupt here, which is a little bit... Crucial and tough. Okay, so let's have a look at this. So... Uh, 
Use a Cassus belly to declare war on Saruman. Your armies are raised one. Saruman has a strong hook on you. Ugh. That's annoying. But I guess it's kind of realistic. I wonder if there's a way to avoid that, getting rid of Grima or something. So maybe we can't declare war upon Isengard until Theoden dies. Hmm. That's annoying. But no matter. We're dealing with these... What's the best way to describe them? People of darkness to the north. Okay. Anyway, we can end this siege now, which is good. And we'll de-raise. And let's just try and keep up on the offensive, let's say. Let's keep on going where we can. Another holy war. Let's get a couple of these just going, and we'll try and smash out these wars as quickly as we can. Because they are definitely winnable. But they're just taking a little bit of time because they're individual zones. But once we have the entirety of Rohan under our control, we might be able to press a challenge to Saruman the White against the Black Banner, the White Hand of Isengard. So a secret has been exposed. A shameful truth has reached the light of day. My vassal, Marshal Dunn here, has had... Okay, some... Okay. Extra stuff going on. How could he defile the sanctity of marriage? So... These ac accusations are naught but lies and malice. He's a powerful vassal. He's a known criminal. I don't think he holds a seat really in much. So we could punish him now. We'll just allow these to, to go away, I guess. We might even get some better quality relations with him. Your sinful act has cost you... Yeah, that's fair enough. Right, we need to push north here. We might actually need to take a break here because we are managing to hemorrhage a little bit of cash. Uh, a strategical impasse. So... There's a discussion between my son Theodred and the Marshal. I know how we can deploy both strategies. Yeah, we'll do both. Okay, so we've won that. Hey, and the war's over. So we might be able to get a little bit of money. Okay, so be it. Right, let's disband all this. Right, do we have many prisoners? We've got four. We can probably ransom some of these guys. People of Darkness. So we get favor. Ideally, I want money, but do we need to negotiate for their release? Demand conversion, recruit, gain a weak hook. Uh, let's just leave them in the dungeon for now. All right, well, let's unpause, and we're going to have to probably just consolidate a bit. My Dominion is oversized, but... It's probably not going to matter too much because we're nearly ready to strike against Isengard. We don't really need to manage that stuff too much. Uh, Ethel Fled is now pre... <laughs> I keep on saying Ethel Fled because I'm thinking of the last kingdom. Elf Fled. Okay. And we have another perk here. So we've already gone down this. So we can continue going. Marriage Acceptance. Friendly fire minus 20% advantages. Uh, Kingsguard as well. That might be okay. Uh, but Dread. Hmm, probably not. We've already gone down that sort of stuff. So, marriage acceptance, close family. Ex uh, actually, let's go with that. Oh, but this is marriage stuff. No, we're, we're sort of done with that. Let's go with the casualties in instead. Okay, anything else here? Low control. Powerful vassals, more wars we can declare, and we can lawfully imprison that there. Alright. Okay, so we're one over. We might actually just wait before we... We'll grab all this territory and then divide it up between laws. Because we're going to be able to quickly win this. I just don't want to give it to... Oh, here we go. Faction's been created against us. Okay, so we're going to have to keep an eye on that. So, it looks like... Oh, Isengard is starting to spread. They're pushing into Dunling territory westward. Saruman is slowly but surely expanding his military forces. Well, maybe because there's factions and stuff against us. Um, it might be... 
uh, a time to deal with it. Right, so let's go through our land holders, I guess, and try and sort this out. Okay, so can we give Theodred another title? Keep it in the family. No, not by the look of it. It probably <laughs> cause too many problems. I'm sure nepotism. <laughs> the words will ring out from the wooden castle of Edoras. So what about my second marshal, Eomund? Oh, hang on, actually, how old's Eomir? And they've had some more children as well. Weirberg and Oswind. <laughs> What's happened to Eomir? Stubborn, brave, just. He's a little bit of a, a cheeky chungus there. <laughs> Good old butcher from the boys. Um, right, so... We'll give it to his father, I guess. Yeah, so... Yeah, brother-in-law. Which eventually will go to him anyway. So, it's this territory up here, isn't it? Yeah, we'll give them the connecting one. Which is this. And show any recent titles. Yep, so we'll grant that, so that will drop us down. That's fine. Okay, sweet. So that will be technically still keeping in the family, because Eomir uh, will eventually inherit that. Okay, sweet. 100 gold now. Uh, we can probably continue to go up and around here. Okay, so the rally point's still there. That's fine. So, who's this? The Chiefdom of the South and Deep. Now, where actually is this in the map? Because... That's Isengard. That's like Fangorn Forest. Yeah, so this must be like Moria. This must be like Lothlorien a bit. Yeah, because usually in like Third Age, it cut the... Like, Rohan cuts off like here. So we're actually pushing further into probably the Woodland Realm. And then there's the... Oh, they put that in. The, um... The Pass of the Two Numenorean Kings that I can't remember off the top of my head. Anyway, let's continue on our wars. Another... Holy War? Uh, why can't we do this? Uh, okay, I think I figured it out. Right. Your level of devotion is less than... Um... One. Yeah, so it's quite low, because technically I'm a sinner. Okay, so we're going to have to take a little bit longer to get those. Or we're going to have to fabricate claims there, because... Yeah, we had that... Oh, that was it. We had that marital problem. Ugh, that's so annoying. Uh, do things change here about these guys? We might actually have some other claims. Yeah, so we can just straight up seize that if we want. Or... Yeah, we can't use our claims against Saddleman because of the hook. Yeah, it's so annoying. Um... We might have to pivot further south then. Because we don't want to be sitting down here twiddling our thumbs. We want to continue and push upon the initiative. So we might have to swing down here. So who are these guys? They are the chieftain of Dun 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 and Dor, okay. People of Darkness. They are herd folk of Dunlings. And they have about a thousand, so it's probably the biggest attempt we've had. Against a military force. So I guess we'll rally up at Amon Roch. Hang on. Move there. And we'll declare war then. Okay. And we'll go with a seizure of their lands. Alright. Raise the forces. And we'll make way. We might just rally up. Hey, I've had another son as well. Uh, Aylmund. Uh, what about my grandfather, Fengal? I think we'll go with Fengal. Oh, perfect. We'll go with Fengal. Good. We've got a lot of children coming along, which is fantastic. Okay, try and push for their castle. We'll leave one army there. We'll send Theoden back to try and intercept. And I'll give my son the command. We want to try and get his marshal up. And we'll give chase into Isengard territory by the look of it. Okay, so we're engaging them. A camp dispute. How cool does that image look, by the way? After my army sets up camp, I hear a commotion coming from the Knight's Lodge. 
And investigation of the disturbance, so... Herbrand and Sind Sinden. Okay. Deliver a speech. Have them whipped. And sod this. Yeah, we'll deliver a speech. Resolution. We are stronger. We stand together, fellow Rohirrim. Yeah, I really like the look of what they, they've done so far for this mod. Especially seeing this is only on Steam. Oh, we've managed to capture the Lord there, so it's a GG for this war. Cool, we've managed to push down here. Disband this, so what's it to push in here now? It's a truce for now, but that's okay. Um... So, <laughs> Widman wants me to come to a feast. No, I've got other important matters to deal with. But this is slowly going back up. Whoa, what's this? Oh, <laughs> my neighboring ally looks like they've seized the territory. Uh, okay. That's kind of cool. And Kingsguard will unlock as well. Uh, we're nearly back up, so if any a little bit in the north here, I'm just the chieftain of... Buy a tour. Uh, anything else? We can recruit men at arms now. We're getting to 5,000. Uh, it's going to cost us a little bit of cash money, but we're probably going to need it, aren't we? If we're going to be facing Isengard's forces. There isn't too many large castles built up, so actually getting cavalry is probably a, a legitimate strategy. So we can get some armored horse. So, uh, those Helm Ingus warriors, they look really cool. I'd love to get some of those. Hmm. Maybe just like mountain riders. Armored horse costs 200. We can probably get two mountain riders or just get some armored horse. The thing is, you wouldn't imagine that, Sa like, you'd imagine that, like, Saruman's army has a lot of heavy... Heavy melee, infantry, probably has wags, but probably heavy cavalry, not so much. So full maintenance too, so we lose a couple gold, or should we just sort of save up and get the 240? Yeah, let's get the heavies. Um, okay, titles can be created once we get more money. Few knights. Um... It just depends if we want to recruit them to the court. I think we'll keep all this the same as well. Alright, sweet. We'll continue on. What's this? A sudden shock. Calm down. I die for the... S oh, hang on. I've ridden... Taken aim and struck so many times, I thought nothing could upset my rhythm. As I take another gallop, I cannot fully see my horse. Okay. So this is worrying. For an instant, momentum keeps me pinned at the back of the horse. Calm down, girl. Calm down. I die for the stable. <laughs> Better safe than sorry. So my horse is currently bucking beneath my feet. So we've got a 50-50. But he could get wounded. Ugh. Calm down, girl. Calm down. I'm thrown to the hard-packed ground. The pain of impact rushing through every bone in my body. Oh, no. The stable boy comes running just a little too late. Damn the animal. Oh, no. We've got a really bad RNG. <laughs> Theoden is now wounded. Oh, typical. How ironic is that? The Master Horse Lord has been <laughs> thrown from his horse. Okay, so a babe cradled in his arms, um, my love. Uh, so this is another child, is it? Oh, yes, you've had another child. I don't know if we should call him Theoden. I actually had something else in mind. Another son! 
Uh, Theoden is doing really well. So, uh, who can we bring in? Thingol, Thingol. Uh, yeah, I, I don't really care about it, to be honest. <laughs> Let's go with... Osmond. Yeah, we'll go with that. Just to change things up a wee bit. Free peoples, okay. Uh, how commendable, right. Oh, we've got an extra territory here now. Oh, a friend's advice. During a meeting with my council, I noticed 3rd Marshal Widman seems to be in a foul mood. Okay. In contemplation of an issue unrelated to that of the council, after meeting, he approached me. King Theoden, there's a matter we have to discuss. It's in regards of the White Wizard. Offered of power. Oh no. He pauses and then looks at your eyes. The wizard has demanded and taken from you more than your alliance. I'm afraid he's taken hold of you, my king. Well, I was thrown from my horse. It's a little bit out of character. He continues talking about you and the wizard, Saruman. And you've already guessed where this conversation will end up. <laughs> you challenge my every decision as if you seek to rule the kingdom of the Redemark yourself. Your lust for my power has turned you into a foe. Well, he's actually probably a loyal servant, to be honest. So no effect. Ugh. I wish we could get those claws that are stuck in me from Saruman. Anyway, we'll try and... Uh, what can we give him? Maybe that. Because we don't have to deal with that again. So, up in the north, can we deal with this? Uh, no, we do not have a Cassus Belly. And we've still got peace with them, and we can't hit Isengard because of the hook. We can get some more military forces, though. So, let's get those Hell Ningas warriors in. <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. So, now it's dropped us down a little bit, but we'll be able to get those guys up and running soon. How fantastic is that? Your, th oh, your own thoughts, but my king. The third marshal goes on again. Um, you realize that you have to make a decision. This has got to be Saruman's doing. It's Whitman. He wants me dead. No, he's he's all right. It's definitely Saruman, the guy with the eye of <laughs> Mordor looking over us. Um, this has to got yeah. This has got to be Saruman doing. Yeah, it's got to be his doing. It's up to 5,000 now, so it's nearly on par with my own. Ugh, only time will tell. Breathe the three air. You're feeling... Oh, here we go. You feel as if a weight has suddenly lifted up from your shoulders. Cool, this is kind of going along with the movie. Um, a weight you hadn't noticed before. Your mind is now at ease. I've still got a broken face. <laughs> um... I remember. I remember your face, Widmund. Saruman loses a loyalty hook on you, and we become friends. Perfect. So, now can we war deck him? And we can. Oh, it's going to be a close one, because we've still got that claim. Oh, they're just such on similar strength to our own. So I guess we'll just try and, like, snipe Isengard. So we'll swing you there. And I might actually wait a little bit, because we want a little bit more money. But it looks like, with the hook gone, war between Isengard and the Rohirrim is probably going to take place. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. And as I say, that a dangerous faction is against us. Oh. No, no it's not. I was going to say, is that Widman? No, it's not. Uh, so these guys want independence. Yeah, they send an ultimatum in 19 months. Okay, so maybe... Uh, it's just something we have to keep an eye out on. 
Okay, so we've got 94. Is there anything else we can do? We can declare war titles. Uh, with this hooks we can do. So no other, uh, basically, vassal ships we can dish out. No. Okay, well, I think it's make or break. Even though Theoden is injured, <laughs> I think it's time to go against Saruman the White. The White Wizard. Uh, primary heir. Okay. So they got 5.5. 5. A lot of levies. 2,000 crossbowmen. Special soldiers. We've just got a lot of levies. We've got some mountain riders. Riders of the Westfold. Okay, well, let's do it. you got to risk it for the biscuit. So let's declare war and try and take out Isengard. War has been declared. Let's raise the banners. Okay, and let's try and rally everyone up here. We'll merge. So, how much of a debuff do we get when he's injured? Minus one prowess, dread, severe health penalty. The thing is, right, who else, like, who else do we operate with? That's the thing. Because 38 might actually be able to carry it. Because I, I can't see what... Uh, he's just 20, so he might be able to win. That's the thing. So we'll see what he does here. He's going to push and try and take that. So we're going to split this. Uh, actually, hmm, I'm going to merge. Because the thing is, right, we could have put in a defensive position there and get them to attack us. But let's just try and fact. Let's just try and snipe them. Oh, we do not have enough. No, they're trying to do the same thing to us. All right. Oh no, they're coming back. Good. Okay, so they've still got that 5,000. 1.7k came in. What's going to happen first? Edoras falling or we can take Isengard? I reckon they're going to be able to take our home before we take theirs. Alright, let's push and try and liberate the city. Let's double back. Secret exposed, that's fine. But here we go, 4,000 brave Rohirrim face Saruman, the foul wizard. We're trading. I've been wounded. Oh no. Um, send for the physician. To the rattling king Theoden. We have been burdened by your oppressive laws. Oh no, the people of darkness are coming at us. I guess I could grant you a tax burden. I'm bleeding on the battlefield. Um, we don't have the money for the physician. Oh, both of them failed to impress me. But we might have managed to win here though. Oh, we've managed to win. But our army's been completely decimated. Although we've won, Theoden is gravely injured. <laughs> Oh no, we're hemorrhaging cash. Even with Theoden injured. Oh, my vassal's been injured as well. What a bloody war. Now the problem is if uh, they sit in Isengard, we're going to have an issue. Push here then. Uh... Yeah, okay. To the False King Theoden. That's the people of darkness. Yeah, so we don't want to adopt this evil culture. Ah, oh, they want... It's because we're attacking Isengard while this liberation army's going on. Well, you want freedom, you have death. There's not much we can do about that. So how many have they got? 5.5k? <laughs> North and West have rallied up against me. Great. Just what we need. We need to get rid of this last Isengard army. Then we'll focus on the, the rebels. I've had another sun. Come on. Can you just give us a break, Theoden? Um, what can we call him? Folkwine? We'll just call him Folwine. We seem to be winning every battle. Oh, here we go. 
but we're losing the war. We managed to capture him. We've caught Saruman. <laughs> That's his age? Oh, I guess he is, because he's like uh, an angel or whatever it is. Oh, good. That war's wrapped up. Let's enforce the demands. Oh, thank the gods. The Tower of All Thank is under our control. Crikey. Now we have to deal with this <laughs> civil war going on. Right, let's pull back here. So now we got peace with Isengard for a bit. My god. Right, let's try and retake some of this territory. Okay, we'll have to split this and give chase to the rest. Yeah, pull back there. Hang on, what are you doing, mate? There we go. You're just, like, not splitting up for whatever reason. Push up. There it goes, them. Yeah, it's just the north we really have to watch out for. Uh, we need a new steward in as well. So let's just chuck in the third marshal. Uh, we've got dangerous factions raising up against us. Everything is just hitting the proverbial fan, let's say. Yeah, so what happened to Saruman? Yeah, we had him under our control. He is now wounded, though. Yeah, I was like, we couldn't just get rid of him. Maybe we should have executed him in the dungeon. Like, that might have been the play. Uh, so there's not enough there for us to fully send that army up solo. So we'll rally up here again. But I've been really enjoying today's hour-long video. I'm having an absolute blast. I'm definitely interested in playing as Isengard. If you'd like to see a short video in the similar format of this. Okay, they're now gone. Good, so be it. Right. We're in a time of peace. Oh, but Saruman has gained another loyalty hook on me. Oh, so that's annoying, because that's going to take more time again to to disband. Right, anyway, we'll start making our money back. So we're in debt. Debt, you should grant upborn to someone, sure. All right. So, what is he left now? Just with, like, the, the left a little bit here in Dunling, and we can't uh, declare war again. Firstly, because we're in debt. We still have a Cassus Burley, but it's going to take a little while. Um, and we still got that strong hook we need to get rid of as well, which is annoying. But we've managed to take the, the Tower of Orthanc. The old Numenorean castle is now under Rohan control. And we're faithful again, which is awesome, because... Yeah, from what I... Yeah, what, didn't the Numenoreans make Orthanc the tower? And they also made Helm's Deep, from what I can remember. Alright, let's skip ahead and see if anything pops up. New Chancellor we can bring in. Let's chuck in you. 16. Um, I think I've got a new... No, that's fine. Incognito. I've stripped myself of every symbol. The infantry man is trying to convince his commander. Step in and protect the soldier. I learned a trick or two. Okay. But our economy's back on track. Oh no, my mother Morwin has now passed away. That's a shame. Uh, we can ransom some of this, but I don't particularly want to. We can probably give out the vassal ship to... Oh. Has... Oh, Aomer's father died of internal injuries. Oh, that's a shame. But Aomer is now the second marshal, so maybe I can grant him some titles. Maybe the Mark of Isengard. Or maybe I should give that to one of my sons. That might be the better play. So, can I give it to... I can't actually give it to... Theodred. And Thangle's only eight. But we probably need to marry off all these boys as well. Fangal, Osmond, Folwine. Five boys. The royal line of Erlingas is <laughs> very, very strong at the moment. Yeah, so I guess we'll give it to... Aelmir. I'm sure a butcher will love <laughs> the mark of Isengard. So he can have that if he wants it. He can hang out in the Tower of Orthanc. 
Uh, we'll grant to a lone noble there. Yeah, if I can grant these marks to other people, that'll be better. Okay, so how old am I now? 61. Okay, um, we can declare war upon uh, these guys again. So we can't war deck Sardamon. It's going to be quite a while before we can do that. What about up in the north here against you? One of my allies might actually end up taking you out. Okay, let's push further south against Dune and Or again. 1.5k. So nothing overly insane, but definitely stuff we have to watch out for. There's two sacks ago, uh, prepared. Let's... Ooh, there's a... A pretender host down there. So we don't have to fight that if we don't have to. But is there a way to get there without bypassing them? No, but maybe if we push down to this territory, it might actually push them out. A camp dispute. I guess we deliver a speech of unity to the crowd. Uh, so it didn't work. What a mess. Anyway, we might be able to put some pressure on them going westward for now. Oh! But that's it. Theoden has died, unfortunately. He does actually look a lot like him. Uh, let's kind of hope that the realm doesn't split. Because <laughs> that's the last thing I need. I was going to say he's 61. I was going to say he's getting a little bit past it. So how did he die? From his wounds that he suffered. King Theoden of the Riddermark. A spirit has flown to the beyond circles of the worlds. Why is that a dollar sign? Not an S. <laughs> He's cashing it out in heaven, baby. At 61, he died from his wounds. Known to be an exceptional strategist. He spent many of his days examine, examining the fields and drilling his troops. King Theoden ascends... Uh, King Theodred ascends to the throne, having mastered many skills. As... He is uh, sure to be admired by his subjects. Continue as King Theodred. So unfortunately, Theoden is no more. So he's now got some children as well. Eol here and Theoden. Oh, that's cool. 22. Not as much as a, a prolific commander as his father, but he'll do. So we do have Ethel here, here who's 30. But I'm 27, so I'm going to use myself here. Okay. So they're just sort of hiding out here against us. I guess we might be able to bypass that army, but we're probably not going to be able to. So we'll take the hit and then we'll go again. It's just annoying because we have to fight both of them. But we're currently under a new reign. Your inheritance of the city has come through. Okay. Your glory is known wide. Um, we'll give chase again. Because we've got him in a corner. Come on, chase them down. Oh, and now Sardelman has gained a hook on me. Oh, just what I needed. This should be the last of them, though, you would imagine. Right. Let's split this and send the other half to give chase. Um, Throws of Passion. Uh, so who are you? 40 year old random woman. She sure knows uh, that this was too good. Okay. <laughs> we don't have a choice. Yep. Yeah. Alright, we should be able to wrap this up soon. Why do they keep going back and forth? Come on, stop running away. There's no other forces over here that I'm being deceived from. No. Nah. Oh, here we go. Let's enforce the demands. Okay. So we've got that under our control. Oh, is it changed? No? The County of Iron. Maybe it's changed? Can we actually go for like a plot? No, because he's got a stronghold. 
a whole, we probably could have done a, a <laughs> an attempted assassination on Saddleman. That'd be quite cool. So I think we'll go with Marshall, just like his father. Um, probably go with strategic focus. And we probably want to go down strategist eventually. Empty council position. We have to reform our court. Probably go with Marshall. Let's keep that up nice and high. So let's bring in a new chancellor. We'll bring in Wiglaf, who's 15 there. 15 diplomacy. And stewardish ship wise, we'll bring in. Heleth, who has a 24 stewardship. Marshal, because now I am the king, I don't need to be the marshal, so we can bring in one of our marshal generals. Ethel here will bring in. And Grima is still our spy master for now. We are above the limit again, which I will need to do. Oh, we can go for Divine Stars again. We'll do that. We've got a dangerous faction coming along. We've got available perks here for stewardship, I guess. Uh, you can demand hooks. Taxman is probably best. We're not doing too much construction, but levy contrib uh, contribution is probably the best play there. And we'll get through all those victories. So we might lose a realm there. We should grant that to someone. Grant to a low noble. We could declare war upon Saruman now. We might be able to wrap things up against him. We've also got some prisoners that can be ransomed. For a hundred, I'll do that. And we can't afford that else. But I'm quite a pious king, King Theodred. Yeah, and we can't attack these guys up in the north. And we've got peace with these guys here for now. Alright, yeah, it's changed to Iron, I guess, because they've lost the Tower of Orthanc. Maybe. I'm not entirely sure. And they have lost 3,000 there, which is quite a lot. They are not the faction they were before. Okay, well, let's officially put the final nail in Isengard's coffin, I think. Move to the border here. And if we can... No, we got the hook. Why did it say... Can, can we bypass that at all? We can declare war. Yeah, we can. But the hook is stopping us. Oh, that's so annoying. Yeah, there's not much we can do. We're going to have to wait a little bit. Okay, not really too much is going on now. We can't declare war upon Saruman because he's still got that strong hook. We can't push against the... The chieftain of Ulfke. Um, sure, let's arrange a network. And we have missing supplies. Brilliant. Okay. Good. So that claim in the north's now done. So we can use that to our disposal. Alright, so pull up there then. So we're going to be able to get rid of these guys. So nearly, we have 6,000 men at our disposal. While I was at the market, Eo here paid... A, oh, okay. Was caught by a criminal. Without kindness, the world falls of compassion. So we can get the compassionate trait. But we've now got 7,000 men under Theodred's command. Push here, you deal with that. Uh, we probably can go with this now, which is minus 50 to Cassus Belly. That's now gone. Once we take the castle, we should be laughing. It's just these, these strong hooks, man. Can't seem to get rid of them. A secret exposes my vassal. vassal. Uh, okay. Illegitimate fathers and the like. Okay, push there. I thought the castle was further to the north. I was watching Theoden play with the other children and Leod tried to push him over. Let's go with the forgiving trait. Okay, now the castle should be ours soon. Alright, that's now gone. Looks like the entirety of sort of the northeast is under 
Ridamark Control. Who owns this? I guess we'll gift it to you because you're up and around this particular area. And we still can't declare war upon Solomon. How or you just yet. We don't actually border these other guys, which makes things difficult. Oh, here we go. This is the same event they got rid of the last hook. A friend's advice. Um. Yeah. You challenge my every decision. Yeah, we'll go with that. A scandal. My cousin has been showing signs of a pregnancy. And everyone thought that husband was the child, but now it's someone else. Who's this? Baron Tadlick. Tadlack. <laughs> I did not just say that. Okay. Okay, your own thoughts. Oh, right. So this is the same event that we had for... Uh, Theoden. Theodred. Uh, this must be Solomon's doing. Okay. I kind of like that the sickness is sort of plaguing um, the family of Aerolingus, the royal line. So, I guess we can declare war upon Solomon now, Is that if that hook goes away. Uh, not yet, but hopefully it will soon, if that event chain keeps on going. We, ta we can declare war upon these guys, though, another holy war. We've got 800 in the bank. Uh, we can create the Kingdom of Isengard, which is going to cost 500, but, um, uh, Isengard Unleashed? What? 15,000? We've only got seven. What? Why is that? Oh, Emperor Saruman of many colors. 15,000 special soldiers. How's he done that? And he's like lost Isengard. Even though we can create the kingdom there. That's so strange. Anyway, we'll rally the forces. We'll push south here. I don't know how we're going to try and come back from that one. Oh. King Thedred of the Riddermark. I have been corresponding with your Chancellor, Count Wiglaf. I must say, I've come to see you in a new light. Perhaps even as a friend someday. Your silver tongue is shining today, Wiglaf. Okay. So, we finally breathe free air. Well, we somehow managed to get better quality relations with the White Wizard. Oh, we've won this war now. Sweet. Good, we want to try and get that money up a bit, because we want to... I guess we could just try and mercenary spam it out, but... I don't know, man, that 15k, we would have to get... Would Maybe we might be able to snipe his capital, like... If we were, would, I guess we set a rally point at Eyes... Mm. You set it at Isengard, don't you? I think. And then you just try and snipe their capital. You might get lucky. We should have... Assassin... Or got, got, we should have knocked him off when we had him under lock and key. Family tree-wise, we haven't had a look at that in quite a while. So, let's have a look at this. So, in the end, King Theoden had five sons. Look at the King Thengel. He's got an awesome beard for an 18-year-old. So, Theodred and his brothers Thengel... Thengel... Fengel... Thengal, Thengal, Fengal, Osmond and Folwine, Eohir and Theoden. So, Eohir is our son and heir. And then we've got this over here. So we've got Princess um, Thedwin, which is Theoden's sister. So, Eowyn, oh, she's had, <laughs> she's had a child, a daughter and a son. Oh, but who she had married to? Oh, she had the pick between Faramir, Aragorn. And she's gone and chosen this guy cosplaying as Baldwin of Ibelin. No, yeah, not Ibelin. Baldwin of Jerusalem. <laughs> Waldig. Okay. <laughs> Strange. Oh, who's this? Oswine's now come of age. 18. He's quite a competent commander. A twin. Okay. But that's the family tree. It's currently secure for now. Uh, we can grant this to... Some lower people. Um, we can declare war still upon him. Uh, Fengal can get married off. So we'll sort by some of skills probably. And then sort of alliance power. I think these guys are people of darkness though, aren't they? There's not too many people of age that I like the look of. She's nine. Yeah, so marry into that. That'll do. For now. We'll try and save up a little bit of money. And then we'll try and strike Saruman before we can't. Yeah, well, I guess we just sort of got to risk it. Like, we're, we're throwing everything into this pl 
plot, which has like a 5% chance of success. We can't even invite anyone else in. Uh, we currently only have 7,000 at our disposal. We can't get any more apart from mercenaries, which we'll try and spam and hire. But it's a little bit... I don't know, what, what made them get 15? Like, how can Solomon call himself an emperor when he doesn't even have Isengard under his control? Just a little bit silly, but I completely understand. Well, we've got to sort of risk it for the biscuit now. There's not really much we can do. We've rallied up here. we just got to try and beat them in the on the open field. But I don't like our chances. We're basically going to grief the campaign. <laughs> There's not much we really can do. So we'll try and bring them in. Um, so we only can bring in these guys because we want to sort by yeah money so the red scarvers of the west march so i guess we'll bring them in which give us armored horse and light horse yeah so we'll bring those guys in uh we'll rally up at isengard and we'll go because we don't want another hook to come in so we'll declare war upon oh it's apparently it's similar um i don't know then yeah we just got to sort of cross our fingers and hope i guess but war's been declared we'll rally everyone up now and even though we're probably going to go into debt, we'll try and bring in those military forces. So we'll hire them. And we'll rally up at Isengard. And then try and push for their capital. And try and finish what my father started. Okay, so they've rallied up there. Let's merge up. We've got 8,000 under our control. So, 3rd Marshal Hailford was 38, while I'm 33. Leading your own troops plus five. I think we'll allow him to command. Yeah, so what do we do? We're hemorrhaging 17. We just sort of got into a... Oh, they might... Actually, hang on. Are they going to try and fight us at the Battle of Orthanc? 9,000 brave Rohirrim against 13,000 men of Saruman. I'm going up against a 15-star commander. Well, this is make or break. And it was break. <laughs> we lost. Yeah, I don't know why they spawned so many. It's just unfortunate. They came right at us. Uh, we might be able to try and take their capital. And the plot has been discovered. The existence of my plot to murder Emperor Saruman has been discovered. No. Not much you really can do about that. Graham can come in. Yeah, another battle. It's going to be a GG for the campaign here. They're going to beat us into submission. Which is annoying. Yeah, I don't know. Like, we were on par with them, and then they just randomly spawned 10,000 in. So, Hook's being gained back on us. Defeat. To the heretical King Thedred. May your years be short and miserable. Your ill-conceived war was doomed from the start. I agree to put it to an end and accept your surrender. So be it. Um, yeah, so hopefully we can get rid of this hook again. But that's it. Oh, here we go. Uh, so maybe this plot... So he knows about it. Yeah, I guess, like... Hmm. Keep the doors open to me in the castle. Whisper the words that can topple the emperor, I guess. Whisper the words. Yeah, so now we can probably lose that hook again. Uh, we'll make our money back. Right, well, unfortunately on that note, guys, I think it's time to wrap up uh, the video in the series here. Thank you very much for watching. So, that attempt there failed. Fortunately enough for me, Th uh, Theodred wasn't captured. But I've had a lot of fun playing this Lord of the Rings mod on CK3. We did quite well pushing against the smaller factions. We did manage to take Isengard and we still actually have the Tower of Orthanc under our control. It's just a shame that we couldn't finish off the last of Isengard here. Why did they spawn so many? Uh, there must be some sort of... Yeah... I don't know... Event or something that he did. Yeah, the Council of Sauron. Yeah, so he's fully out. <laughs> he's fully out of the bag there, but... Yeah, he's wounded. I'm surprised he's still doing quite well, but... I think... Yeah, I would love to come back to this mod. Once it's been fleshed out. Once 
Gondor's now in. And you can like defend Minas Tirith and, and Mordor and Harad. Maybe like playing as like the Black Numenorians, that'd be quite cool. The elves, the dwarfs, the goblins of the Misty Mountains. But uh, I think I'll end this campaign here. Thank you very much for watching. Leave the video a like if you haven't already. Support it and I'll do more CK3 on the channel. Let me know if there's any other mods you'd like me to do videos on that I've missed. But yeah, that's it. King Thedred. Here is the family tree. But the line of Rohan is uh, still continuing. I, li I do like the armor though. The armor looks really nice. Like that That's pretty much bang on. You probably can't get much better than that. Particularly for Rohan, but... We've managed to <laughs> take Isengard uh, in this short, little fun series. We could play as Isengard next. That's definitely something we can, we can do. Uh, let me know in the comments. But stay tuned for more daily content on Simsy Total War. Unfortunately, guys, it is time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already with the bell notification on. Let me know in the comment section down below feedback and suggestions for the video. And feel free to leave a dislike. If you want to support the channel and follow me on my social media links, they are all linked in the description below. We've got the series playlist that you can access. You can also have a look at my gaming and recording equipment. If you want to get yourself some cheap games, check out the links. You can support me on Patreon if you want. Channel members are available. Use creator code SimsyTotalWar on the Epic Games Store checkout uh, to flick me a couple of bucks. We've got Twitter, Discord, merchandise, Facebook, Steam Group, Instagram, Twitch, and Google Plus links all in the description below as well. But above all, guys, make sure to take care of yourselves. Have a fantastic rest of your day. My name has been Simsy. Much love from Australia. Goodbye.